We've got one that asks, do you consider Windows 11 a mature enough operating system? Uh, when will be a good time to upgrade from 10 to 11? And the second question is, what do you guys think of Windows 11? I just went build an old lake machine. Initially went with Windows 10, then this person went and fresh installed to 11, ended up running into a bunch of little issues with things here and there. So and this, this user ended up reinstalling Windows 10. So I guess, yeah, what are our thoughts on Windows 10 and would we consider sort of upgrading to it for now? So are you using Windows 11 on no. your PC? So I initially upgraded my AMD and Intel test systems to Windows 11, but I also kept my Windows 10 installed. So I had four SSDs in total. Uh, and the reason was that, you know, Elder Lake, Windows 11 schedule and stuff. So we thought we'd, we'd update to that. And then we thought, yep. if you're building a new computer, it probably makes sense to install Windows 11 because the upgrade process can be a bit janky and it's just better to do a fresh install. If you're gonna to go to all that effort, you might as well use the latest operating system that's going to be supported moving forward. But, and I was looking at upgrading my personal system to Windows 11 quite recently now. The reason I haven't is because I bought the new Panasonic GH6 camera, which films in 5.7K, or it can, that's what I've been using it in. And for some reason, Premiere is happy on Windows 10. Import the footage, works perfectly fine. Windows 11, I've tried absolutely everything, cannot get it to work. You get a low level exception error. Um, I've Googled the hell out of it. I've tried disabling hardware encoding. I've tried disabling stuff like core isolation, um, VBS features. I've, I've tried everything. I cannot get it to work on Windows 11. Windows 10 works fine on every system. The reason I discovered that was because we have a new video editor who comes on site here and I've got a system here for him and it was uh, his own personal operating system install, which is Windows 11. And that's how we discovered. So I had to put, I had to reconfigure his whole system using Windows 10, just so he could edit the footage with the new camera. So that was annoying. So that, uh, having learnt that, I was like, well, I'm definitely not upgrading to Windows 11 because I have not got time for those kinds of headaches. And so far yeah. we haven't worked out a workaround. My Windows 10 works flawlessly, no dramas at all. That's um, why I haven't upgraded either. Just the, you know, Using it as a production system, I needed to work flawlessly with limited downtime from the upgrade process. And yeah, so, early on, yeah. I benchmarking on Windows 11 is a nightmare because I've discovered a bug, which to my knowledge, no one's talked about, which I find quite unbelievable. But I verified this. I was going, well, I potentially will make a video at some point. I was kind of hoping they would just solve it so it would become a non-issue. And this isn't because I'm trying to you know hide any issues with Radeon GPUs or whatever. It's just that... It's not generally the content we make and it's a lot of work. But basically, if you put a Radeon GPU on a Windows 11 system and install the drivers, and then uh, you had, a, say, a GeForce GPU in there before, it's really bizarre. When you install the drivers and run a benchmark, you get the full performance. And if you check the latency of the CPU, the L3 latency and the DRAM latency in particular, it's exactly what you'd expect it to be. But then when you reset the system, half the time it completely buggers the performance and latency for the DRAM goes through the roof. And then you have to DDU, remove the driver, install it again. And sometimes it takes three installs before the point that you reset, it preserves the performance and doesn't... It, and I've recorded all this, it's highly repeatable. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't think it happens with GeForce drivers. It definitely happens with Radeon drivers in Windows 11. It doesn't happen in Windows 10. So benchmarking well, that's a nightmare. Been, it, benchmarking was a nightmare to get accurate numbers otherwise yeah radeon gpus can drop by like 10 20 percent performance on windows 11 after you so there's a bit more to it than that that's the short version but yeah i don't know if i was a gamer in particular i wouldn't be that keen to jump to windows 11 yeah 